purpose beyond making and repairing clothing? What if someone could help build community, give people, including those with physical and mental disabilities, meaning, confidence, and employable skills? We'll meet Anna Dubois, the Executive Director of Common Thread. Common Thread is a nonprofit society offering training and employment in sewing and craft to people with social and work barriers. This enables them to generate income and to have social engagement opportunities where they can give value for their skills. In doing so, they are contributing to the city zero waste goal by using the purpose fabric and crafting material to make things that is good bad. So, watch this video to find out how a trifecta of upcycling, community building, and skill learning come together in this bright and welcoming space in East Vancouver. Let's go find out. Executive Director of Common Thread, and this is Vancouver. If I had to describe Vancouver in one word, I would say green. And uh, for Common Thread, the best word to describe it is inclusive. And my favorite spot in Vancouver is the seawall. Hello, good morning. Welcome to Common Thread. I'm Anna Dubois, the Executive Director. Come in. Right. So let me tell you a little bit about us and what we do. This is our lunchroom. This is where everybody congregates when they're taking a break. And this is where we have our social lunch, which we're going to have later today. And a social lunch is a team lunch for everybody organized by Common Thread uh, so that we get a chance to socialize outside our usual activities. And this month, the social lunch is supported by the Vancouver um, Airport volunteers. They came yesterday and they made lunch and uh, one of them is coming to join us later. And this is our Craftworks program area. This is the program that works with people with high needs. So the program has three streams. We have one for on-site ther craft therapy. So this is today's group. So this is people who have different complicated uh, social and work barriers. And they come and they do these activities as a form of therapy. And then we have two other streams. We have our home crafters that make items <laughs> produced from kits that this group makes on Wednesday mornings. Uh, it may be ornaments, flowers, sock monkeys, like these lovely ones here. I have to show you our lovely sock monkeys. <laughs> so, so these are made by our home crafters. And then we have a third stream, which is the maker group. And the maker group are people who also have barriers, but who have uh, a goal of developing their own little home crafting business. And so we are assisting them in that goal. So three different streams, uh, depending on uh, where the people are and the kind of uh, skills and uh, barriers that they have. So this is one of the things that they would be doing in class. So it's like a little tiny shirt so they learn how to make the collar and then how to attach the, um, the sleeve and the pockets and you know all these different things. But instead of making a full-size shirt, you obviously work on a smaller scale because you still learn the same skills. And this is for, you know, this is for our order, for our designer order that we are working on. Beautiful fabric. And let me show you our avocado socks. This is one of the products that we work on for one of our customers. So this is the avocado sock. And uh, we love this product. It's made by a local, uh, uh, local business, Diane Sherwood, her blue hair and promotions company. She started it. So if you buy an avocado and it's not ripe enough, you can put it in this sock and then it will ripen. 
And uh, for us, it's a fantastic product to work on because one of the people in our industrial sewing team attaches the label, which is quite a, a skilled task. And then people from our crafting program who don't use uh, any machines, uh, they put the thread in and then they tie the knot and uh, attach the labels and then they also have to press the socks. So it gets involved everybody, not just the industrial team, not just the crafting team, but people from both teams. And uh, for us it's great because we like that kind of interaction between the different teams. And of course it's a locally made product and we love that. Working on flowers. Beautiful. Can I show, these are yours? Yeah. Can I show them? Yeah. Look. So we're working on these shapes and then we're going to put different colors in different shapes together and it was going to make beautiful felt flowers. So that's what the team is working on today. Emily, can I show yours? Yes, please. I'll just take a few and then I'll put them back. Okay. okay? And these are the ones that Emily is working on. So it's quite a fussy work. You have to cut every little piece and you have to cut it just so. And then, uh, and then there's more other ones and it's going to all be beautiful flowers. Joan! Hello! Okay? Yeah, you're okay? Oh, hi, I'm Julianne Pratt and I've been to, um, it was Craftworks and I think I've been here for about 10 years or more. I kind of lost track, but um, now they're called Common Thread, and I really love it here. The people are great, and um, it, you know, it's a home away from home, and it's nice to be around people who are on the same boat as you, and, um, and you feel productive, and you know, you're able to get stuff done, and you know, and then you feel good about yourself. So they're really good people here. And Sarah gives the best hugs ever, by the way. So you might want to get a, a Sarah hug at some point. <laughs> but anyways, I give good hugs too. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know what else to say other than it's just a, it's a really nice place here. It's got a good vibe and um, the people are amazing. Yeah, they do a really good job here. Uh, so I guess a little bit about the program I run. I do an industrial sewing training program. It's a, a pre-employment training program for adults who face barriers to uh, employment. Uh, we've been running for 10 cohorts now and so we've had over 50 graduates come out of our program um, which is pretty exciting. Uh, right now we're having some changes in funding so we are exciting to be growing and evolving this program. Um, to have a little bit more of a broader range of scope of focus, which should be really, really good. Uh, in the meantime, we're, all of the programs are growing actually, so it keeps us on our toes quite a bit. Um, yeah, so we've had some major success stories. You'll get to see quite a few of them in the Threadworks, or the Common Thread production team, actually. Uh, we've also had some other placements made with large in large producers around the Lower Mainland as well as uh, with smaller scale. Um, when this program opened up um, three years ago, I came in in the second, after, during the second cohort. Um, I was introduced to this program and actually Craftworks, the, the craft therapy and social program has been on my radar professionally for some time because they've been around for so long and I consider them to be a staple in the city's um, like social work landscape actually. Um, yeah, the work that they do is really important and I think that the, it's so subversive, like the craft, the crafting aspect really opens up a lot of possibilities for folks to get into um, sharing things that maybe they weren't, weren't prepared or ready to share. Like sometimes a lot of the social groups and um, therapies can be so focused and like bring things up in such a direct way that it can be shocking to kind of talk about what's happening in your life but when your hands are busy your mind is kind of doing a different thing and so um, I find that this sewing and craft works has really opened up some very interesting discussions actually. <laughs> well 
morning, my name is Julie Ruiz Segur and I work at the uh, Common Thread. Um, I got here by BC Work. BC Work gave me a training because Common Thread uh, does um, sewing classes, sewing program. So I, uh, BC, BC Work gave me the program. I came here to study how to sew, how to do the job and I got higher. I was so blessed to be hired here. This is a wonderful company who works for the community and with the community. Um, we do bags, we do um, clothing now, and uh, the atmosphere is very relaxing. Um, I have mobility problem, as you see, and uh, there is no problem here. There's people who have mental disorder, as I have, and uh, there's no problems here. Everybody is so open-minded, and so loving and caring, and they leave us at our, our own pace. So it's no pushing, it's no rushing, um, it's a wonderful atmosphere. I'm just looking forward for the Christmas party here. You know, it must be wonderful. And the wonderful it is this company also. Hi, my name is Maria. Um, I work here uh, almost almost a year. Almost a year. I'm cutting. I'm the cutting lady. <laughs> one of the cutting ladies. I love this program. Uh, they help me a lot. I was uh, disabled. I was declared disabled by my work. I work at a, a hotel for so many years, and um, I injure my shoulder. And uh, I always love um, sewing and I got this opportunity, I was introduced by TreadWorks, um, and I love it. I took TreadWorks, uh, um, the program, for six months, and I love it. I love the teaching, the patience of the teachers towards the people with uh, disability uh, to help um, people in need. And um, I enjoy being here a lot, so I decided to apply for a work, for a job in here. So I, will, I do some sewing as well, but I love cutting. I love cutting, and they they help. They, I see the the way the teachers and the workers they help the uh, the, the people to work here and, and and encourage them to 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 be a little bit more at not sitting at home, <laughs> obviously, and come here. And uh, it is it's it's good to see uh, people that um, they can help people. To, to achieve a little bit more in life than that uh, with, with the disability that we all have. A lot of people have disability and I see, I see this program works. This program works and help uh, to, to, to people that they really need it. They really need it. And I encourage people to, to, to come and reach us, to come and reach us because uh, it's always a little, a little job for everybody and everybody can do it. If I can do it, everybody can do it. I just would like to add to this video the fact that working in this uh, common thread company organization for me is, is no work, it's a pleasure. It's, I, 
I come here every day with a smile, and it's a family for me. It's a family. Um, I have no family in British Columbia, so this is a family. Everybody helps. Everybody works. We have to produce, obviously, and the the our boss. Daryl is awesome. Anne is awesome. Everybody here is so nice. Is coming to um to a family, you know, and to me the ambiance, the atmosphere, is so important because I'm not gonna find two places like this, you know. And the thing is that that's why I mentioned before the Christmas party because in Christmas party all the families together, and I just can imagine how wonderful will be the the Christmas party here. So thank you so much.